Stop applying foundation like this if you have uneven skin tone and hyperpigmentation because it's surely going to change colors on your face and look ashy. Instead, I'm going to show you how to use color theory in simple steps to get the most perfect flawless base and also give you a life hack if you want to do a quick no makeup makeup look while evening out your skin tone. I'm super excited for this tutorial, so without further delay, let's begin. As you can see, although it's slowly improving, I still have dark circles, I have hyperpigmentation around my mouth, I have redness on my cheeks, and I also have sun tan around the circumference of my forehead and chin area. Now, each of this discoloration have a different undertone. Just remember your dark circles and patches usually have a bluish purple undertone, and of course, your redness has redness. And if you have a tan, it's usually a warm undertone. So when I apply the foundation directly over these different undertones it mixed with these undertones to give an uneven ashy finish in order to rectify that we need to color correct and what exactly is color correction it simply means that you're using other colors to cancel out these undertones of uneven skin and neutralize it so when you apply makeup over it it doesn't look ashy now that in simple terms is called color correction. Now let's look at the color wheel. All you need to know from this wheel is the colors that are facing each other will cancel each other. For example, if you have redness on your face, you use a green corrector and you can use red to cancel out green because they're facing each other. From this wheel, orange or peach cancels out blue and blue cancels out orange. Yellow cancels out purple which means purple cancels out yellow. Now let's put these to use. On my left side of the face, I'm going to show you how to use these color correctors for full coverage makeup. And on my right side, I'm going to show you how to use these correctors for a more natural no makeup makeup look. And that's my favorite way to use the correctors. Let's start with my left side. Now I told you that my dark circles and uneven skin tones usually have a blue undertone. From this chart, to cancel it, we should be using an orange or a peach corrector. Today I'm going to be using the NYX color correcting palette. Absolutely love this. I'm first dipping into this peach shade and applying it directly over my dark circles and patches around my mouth. If you have deeper skin tones, use orange. If you have light to medium skin tones, use a peach corrector. You can see how that has already neutralized my dark circle. I'm also going to apply this on my lid to neutralize it. Again, the peach is working with the blue undertones to cancel it as we saw in the color wheel. And now I'm going to apply it around my mouth, but only on the left side because I want to show you a different technique on my right side. And of course, on my left side, I'm going to be using a foundation over the color correctors to show you that it gives you a more even base and will not return that ashy look. You can clearly see the difference on my two sides. Now for my right side, I'm doing my favorite hack. I'm going to use a little bit of concealer and mix it with the color corrector to get that more natural look. So I'm taking some concealer, which is a true match to my skin tone, which is the Milani concealer in 145. And I'm going to add a little bit of peach corrector to it, mix it, and then use it with a flat brush again around my dark circles as well as around my mouth. But make sure you just take a drop of color corrector and mix it with the concealer. Otherwise, you will completely change the color of the concealer. We don't want to be doing that. We just want to change the undertone. On my right side, I'm not going to be using a foundation over this. So if you have pigmentation and if there are days when you don't want to do that full coverage makeup or don't even want to apply a foundation, you can definitely mix in a little bit of color corrector with your concealer, apply and blend. But again, make sure if you're using that concealer, it's a true match to your skin tone, nothing lighter or darker. Otherwise, it will not blend well with your skin. Now let's work on the redness on my cheeks. From the color wheel, the color that cancels out red is green. That almost reminds me of the beautiful red and green contrast during the holiday season. On my left side, I'm going to apply it with a brush and quickly blend it out with my finger. I also have some redness around my nose, so I'm going to apply it there as well. 
The key to blending here is to make sure the edges are especially completely blended so they don't look patchy. And for my right side, I'm taking some concealer and mixing it with just a little bit of color corrector. And that makes the concealer a little bit more neutral. And then I'm going to apply it over the redness to cancel it. As you can see, that covered that beautifully and still gave me that skin-like finish. Now let's look at the areas on my face that have a tan. These have a warmer yellow undertone and looking at the color wheel, the color that cancels out yellow is purple. Again, on my left side, I'm going to apply it with a brush and blend it out. Color correctors usually are in the form of either creams or fluids. The creams are usually a medium to high coverage to conceal over pronounced high pigmentation areas, while fluids give you a more sheer coverage and are ideal for minor corrections. Now onto my right side again, I'm mixing the concealer with a little bit of purple corrector and applying it in areas that have a warm, uneven skin tone. And as you can see, it has beautifully neutralized the area and completely concealed it. Once you've conquered the basics of color correction, you will start to use less product like less foundation and less concealer due to its counterbalancing properties. Now that I'm done with using the color correctors on both sides, I'm going to very lightly set my face with a loose powder. I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. You can use any powder that you have. I'm doing this so it quickly absorbs that powder and sets and doesn't mix with the foundation or concealer that we'll be applying over this. When you apply a color corrector this way, you do not want the product to mix with the foundation or concealer because we've used more quantity of the color corrector and haven't really mixed it in with the foundation or concealer separately. Whereas on the other side, when I mixed it with the concealer, I used very little quantity just to neutralize the concealer. And on my right side, I'm setting it with powder so it doesn't crease. Now onto the foundation for my left side, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Super Stay in the shade Golden. While applying foundation or concealer over color corrector, I usually like to use a sponge as opposed to a brush. Because with a sponge, you're pressing the product in, but with a brush, sometimes the bristles can pull the product from underneath and mix it with the foundation or the concealer to change the color. So if you're using a brush, make sure to press it in like a sponge as opposed to pulling or tugging on your skin. As you can see, that has beautifully covered and it's given a more full coverage look on my left side. You can, of course, use a concealer in areas where you use the orange or the peach corrector for extra coverage if you prefer. Or you can also use a foundation if you don't want too much coverage. I'm going to lightly set this with powder so it doesn't crease. And here is the finished look. I'm going to quickly apply some mascara and lipstick. And here is the look completed. I hope this tutorial clarified a lot of doubts and questions that you might have had. And I hope it was simple enough to understand the theory of color. Which side do you prefer? Let me know in comments. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. As always, if you did, please don't forget to thumbs up. I love you guys so much. And I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.